Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam, WhatsApp in the comments down below. Feel free to join VIP to be alerted whenever we get in and out of these plays. Also, get your free stock from down below in the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys, because AMC is steady coming across gold mines, coming up with new creative ideas to help further push the business model and return make people actually want to hold the stock far as the business aspects of the company and not just for fun and for the movement and for you know meme stocks which was created as a movement for fun for the retail investors to kind of get back at the big guys for picking down on these companies short them all the way down to zero dollars zero cents coming out with tax-free dollars going over they short these companies down to zero dollars and zero cents it it get wiped completely out they able to uh, take that money out of the market completely tax free guys so let's go ahead and take a look at this and the reason they got that rule in place because they know majority of the retail investors everyday people is not short in the market guys or don't have the knowledge to even you know go long in the market and be profitable so you know they're not short so let's go ahead and take a further look at what's going on amc theaters hopes its next gold mine is a credit card so amc will launch a credit card in early 2023 in his latest attempt to diversify revenue and reach out to retail investors. Daddy. What is it, Mama? Come on. I'm coming, okay? I might bring you a surprise. Oh, yeah. I might bring you a surprise. Go watch your pad. I'm going to bring it to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I might bring it. I'm going to bring you Bring you cereal? Okay, I'll bring it to you. You want to get it by yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm bringing it. If you go now, you better go. You better go if you want to get it. Are you done? Yep. Now you're done. Okay. So AMC. AMC. No, not yet, babe. I'm going to bring it. Are you going to say Yep. Go high. Go high. Hide and, hide and seek. One, two, three. AMC Theaters has found his next investment. Go ahead, babe. Go high in your room. You got to go hide in your room. I'm going to find you right there. I'm going to find you. One, two, three. Oh, AMC Theaters has found its next investment to appease its retail investors, guys. The movie theater chain is set to launch an AMC Entertainment Visa card in early 23 in a partnership with Visa and deserve a digital credit card platform. Credit card holders will be able to earn additional AMC Stubbs reward points when making purchases at, a, at the theater, as well as purchase outside of the theater chain. The card is only available to AMC Stubbs members. So demand for the new credit card is expected to be high. So much of that AMC is offering those who sign up for the wait list the ultimate prize for some a chance at meeting AMC chairman and CEO Adam Aaron, who has been the rallying force for retail investors who saved the company from bankruptcy by turning AMC into a mean stock. Members of the wait list who apply for a car will be entered into a sweepstakes to attend a red carpet movie premiere with Aaron. So this is definitely a, a good incentive to get people to do this, guys. They're very smart with what they're doing. I'm pretty sure how strong the community is behind AMC. It's going to be a lot, a lot of folks signing up to get this credit card and having the chance to actually meet Adam Aaron in person. You know, people are going to be making content out of it and all. It's probably be, you know, it's going to be a sight to see. This is a crazy movement. I'm pretty sure they is actually going to make a movie or probably already making movies about this right here because this is some wild stuff about, you know, just the whole not just this in particular, but everything as a whole on what, what we have, you know, done and what's really going on. And you guys see how FTX, how they, you know, they, they trying everything in their power, saying that we got to get to the bottom of this, find out exactly what went wrong, what took place. Only the reason is because they lost money. People, large entity, big businesses, like, you know, he basically, you know, estimated on, you know, basically, in a nutshell, they money got was involved in that too. Lots of it, billions of dollars. So it was the one of the world's largest crypto exchange. So that was on like some next level joint. That's just like Walmart shutting down and scamming everybody, or not even Walmart. We're gonna say bank because they messing with money. That's like uh. What's a good bank? BB&T, where they transferred over to Truist. But you get what I'm saying? One of the well-known banks, right? Will Fargo, anybody. Just running off with everybody money like that. Like, it's like, that's what type of shocking it was. So anyways, as we can see, though, Adam Averin's credit card is going to be a, a dope movement, guys. I can't wait to see exactly how this, uh, you know, do for us in the community. Uh, AMC was performing well today, guys. GME, they, but we know how they love to, you know, let it run a little bit and pull it right back. Until we actually get... 
back above that seven dollar range seven dollar territory when the fomo could really start you know to come in how we shot up to seven eight dollars near that range on the other week or so a couple weeks ago that's when you know we'll be able to see you know some fomo start to kick in some hype whenever they ain't gonna be able to really hold it back as they continue to do now but citadel the market makers of all these guys it's a lot you know that i'm gonna uncover today bring out some more uh stuff to let you guys know exactly what they've been up to and what they've been doing and how they've been being able to actually manipulate this and it ain't us and ain't youtube it ain't you know it's actually some effery going on with this stock guys so we already know and all court is all full circle the ftx all that you see how they was coming out saying this had ties to do with the amc like that's how deep this amc gme situation is it's bigger than what most of you may even think it is and you know we kind of putting on the back burner now or not as much as strong as it was beginning you know i just let stuff die out like how COVID did it was it was hot then it kind of died out. People stopped talking about it. Now it's picking back up. That's exactly what we need to do with this. Like, pick it back up. Put the pressure back on them, just like they is with the FTX thing, right? So you already know what to do, man. I love y'all. Edge your boy on Instagram at the BH Show. Get in VIP. Get your free stock. I love you. Y'all, and God bless you.